Yeah, once again, your boy Tony McKelly. I'm out here right now, Old School TV. We got uh, some old school stuff happening out here. And uh, this is NAB 2013. I'm a little tired today because it was a long day yesterday. But this is 2013. <laughs> Keeping it real, Old School TV, bring it to you live like we always bring it to you. And um, there's going to be a lot of things that's going to be happening out here. But what I want to talk about is basically is just keeping it real and just enjoying the show, enjoying the, the atmosphere. I got my buddy over here. Uh, can you come over and say a couple words? He's out here, actually. Uh, I work with him, and we actually do the uh, set up the convention. He's one of the project managers, one of the biggest project managers. And, and come, come, come over and say a couple words. Looking, uh, looking nice today. Got a nice shirt on. Hey, sit. What do you want to say about uh, the NAB show? Tell us a little bit what's going on. Oh, NAB show is one of the biggest show for the broadcasting, you know. For international for us too so okay. i like to you know recommend you guys can come over here as well okay. and so what do you actually do here at the show? Well, well i'm become uh, like a on-site support for cisco uh at the north hall okay yeah and you, are you enjoying it you oh yeah of, i i love it a new innovative uh, absolutely yes i love yeah i love it and there's okay. a lot of new technology i never see in my life before and yeah, uh, we said, we're talking about the new technology what about the old stuff what you want to say about the old stuff though well you i don't know I'm still, well, I'm young, so I like you to the newer yeah. stuff. And then, sure. well, the thing I is, that, well, that. Cisco is uh, uh, has an Emmy Award for the uh, technology and uh, and uh, imp improvisation for the, the technology, though. Cisco okay. has an Emmy Award for this. Wow. I yes. Know that. Yeah, you can check it out at Cisco booth. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you once again. Once again this is once again Tony from Cali, Old School TV. This is my, my guy, Saran. <laughs> he works with Smart Source, and he is one of the project managers. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And... I'm just going to be here, like I said, taking pictures, doing what I got to do. I got old school cameras. We got 1080p video that we're shooting right now. This is Kodak. I don't know if you can see it really good. Bam. I had to upgrade it a little bit, but we got full Kodak capability. Hi, I'm Paul Beck with the Museum of Broadcast Technology. We're here at the NAB with our display of old cameras. And what we have here is, if this was 1976, we're in the Wayback Machine. We've gone back to 1976. Okay. And you would have had access to a broadcast camera like this from RCA called a TK-76, or over here, a Nikogami camera called an HL-35. It's a great camera. Or another Ikigami camera called an HL-37. But you would have been recording on this machine, which is a Umatic recorder. And over here, we have the wonderful Sony VO-3800, which is a portable recorder for Umatic cassettes, the three-quarter inch cassettes. This would have taken a 20-minute cassette and you would have put a battery in here that would have lasted maybe 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, but this would have been carried by one individual, and another individual would have had to carry the camera. This would be the power supply that would be used if you were uh, on AC power in the studio. Um, and uh, it's pretty heavy to carry all this stuff, but in the field, this would be just the camera and the battery would be in here, and I'm um, just just the, the we do, but I didn't bring them. We had to be limit. But yeah, well, it, it fits in that hole. It fits in the hole. But if if the uh, three quarter inch format, which was a limited quality format, if that was not good enough for the user, then we had to step up to a higher quality. One inch tape hadn't existed by that time, but there was still two inch tape, and we'll show you one of the two inch tape machines in about two seconds. What you're seeing here is an Ampex VR 3000 two-inch portable quad machine. This is a two-inch broadcast tape recorder. I'm going to hit the play button, and we'll print up to the monitor here. You'll see a picture in a few seconds. And this is playing back high-quality color. It doesn't look like it's in color here because we don't have the right time base corrector, but it is playing back a high-quality recording. This recorder would have been worn on somebody's back, or you would have carried it on a truck a hand truck or some other mechanism. I'll stop it here, it's a little noisy. Okay, we'll let it play again here. But the, uh, the whole concept of this, this was a much, high, much higher quality recording than the three quarter inch cassette. And this would have been played on another machine to play it to air or for editing. And it was broadcast quality. And it was well after this, maybe six or seven years later, that the one-inch tape machines came out, which were smaller and lighter. And that's also battery uh, operated too, wasn't Yes. It? Th this would have come out, and a big battery would have gone in there. Okay. And that actually, that's the one that actually fit into a case? 
This would this would fit into a suitcase, or you carry on your back. Yep. I have pictures of that. Yep. And I was like, wow. Yep. I want one of those. Is it for sale? No. It's not for sale. No, it isn't. It's unfortunate. Where can I get one of those? Probably eBay. I've looked. Thank you so much. Good to meet you, sir. Once again, old school TV. This is what we do. This is a two-inch reel. I love it. The Apex. Um, I definitely want one of these. I did ask the uh, the guy earlier if he wanted to sell it. He says no way. But this is uh, this is like one of my dreams to have a two-inch uh, VCR or VTR. VTR standing for videotape play, uh, videotape recorder. And this is like one of the first ones, um, the first portable ones actually. This unit actually used to be attached to the back of uh, your back. You put it on your back like a backpack, and you carry it around. Um, apparently, they don't have the battery for it right now. They said the battery somewhere, but they do have a battery for it. But this would be awesome to have for my collection, uh, old school TV. And that's what I'm doing. I'm bringing it back, old school technology, and not not just me. But you can see that other people also bringing back old school technology too. I'm just, you know, as a technician, trying to ritualize the the technology, trying to keep the old school um, embedded into the new stuff as well. So this is what I'm doing, old school technology, your boy Tony from Cali, keeping it real, keeping it right. But once again, Tony from Cali, old school, t old school TV, KTFC, channel 63, all in HD, and this is what we do basically do, is keep the old school alive, keep every, keeping uh, the retro two inch tapes. I want to play this. I don't know which one to play. I gotta, I'm going to ask him. Gonna, I think I can just hit the play button here. This is the play button right here. It's pretty loud. I want you to get the site. Yeah. Huh? So once again, two inch tape plan. This is and you can hear it's pretty loud. But it is a magnetic tape, a two-inch tape, and um, very, very awesome. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm just very, very happy to be here. This is like making my day-to-day. -day. Um, old school technology is what I'm about. I'm about taking it and bringing it back to life, and they definitely did here. I'm going to stop it here. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we're going to leave it alone because we're not that familiar with it. But once again... <laughs> Tony Kelly, Old School TV, KTFC, Channel 63, all in HD, and you already know what I do already. Computer animation, three-dimensional holographic, digital video broadcast, special effects engineer, slash senior audiovisual engineering, telecommunication specialist, slash broadcaster and producer of my own reality show, Tony from Cali Reality, born in 1963, all in HD. And we're going to get on out of here. We're going to go check out some other things, but um, I'm just loving it here. This is the museum for today. If they have another one, we'll just have to check that out a little later. But this is Old School TV, Tony from Cali, keeping it real, keeping it right, and once again, keeping it tight out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Live, how you doing, everybody? KTFC Channel 63. We over here with the old school Mac, the classic Mac right here. They got it upgraded so that you can stream. They can do everything on it. We're with, over here with Broadcast Solutions. Broadcast Solutions. They're broadcasting. They're streaming. They're doing it on the old school Mac. I don't know how they're doing it. The guy's gonna come over and tell us a little bit about it. What's your name, sir? Chris. Chris. Chris is gonna tell you a little bit about it. I'm gonna yeah. let him hold the mic. I'm gonna get out the way. So with the software product, what we are doing now, we are streaming at the same time on the web and we have an improved Mac Classic here, the color version with the iPad. <laughs> and so we are doing the video, we are doing the overlay, everything with a single application nice. for the broadcasters. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. So that's, that's, that's live right now. And as you can there, see, iPad the interface the basically. Uh, it, it slides out, you guys got it mounted in there, but you can't slide it out though, huh? That's cool though. So they got the iPad basically into the, in the frame of the Apple. <laughs> Classic. I thought I was the only one doing this kind of stuff, man. You gotta, let, let me get a close up of this from the side here. Okay. I'm gonna go home and make one of these. I'm gonna do it with a, with a that's nice. Easy to do. Just put the power supply inside and huh? you just put the power supply for the iPad inside. Yeah, yeah. Problem is solved. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go find one of these on eBay. I'm ready now. Yeah, sure. We no, bought it on eBay. Huh? You bought it on eBay, huh? Yeah. Yeah, wow. This is good. Thank you so much. Broadcast edition.